Is the Colonel Wasp 76 tournament ready out of the box? The future of the hobby. It'll make other blaster systems obsolete. The AEB or Automatic Electric Blaster has generated a lot of hype through designs like Eli Wu's Impulse. But when it comes to commercially available AEBs, how good are they? Well, one of the first available options has been the Colonel Wasp 76. And I wanna know, is it tournament ready out of the box or not? Once we get it assembled out of the box, that is, which was a little annoying, especially if you don't have a long screwdriver, then good luck getting the buffer tube attached. But now that we do have it assembled with an airsoft style LiPo battery fit in the buffer tube stock to power it, let's talk performance. Everything in this video was done with the higher powered spring that comes pre-installed in the updated Monkey Mods orange version of this blaster. I did though end up testing with both springs because I had the earlier version that came with the lower powered spring installed and after I finished filming initially, the newer version was then released, so I had to swap for what was now pre-installed in the available version and redo my testing. I mention this because with all the advances we've made in easy to access or quick swap springs and blasters, this felt like a step back into the old, requiring taking apart the entire blaster to get to it. It's not a deal breaker, but it is a quality of life detail for sure. Now with that higher power spring, it nets FPS ranges from the high 180s to low 200s on average depending on the dart type being used. When we jump over to accuracy with this setup, it seems as though without a scar barrel there may be too much power behind the darts causing some instability on a few shots per mag. Now the groupings at 40 feet for the shots that did seem stable were all right, however once the distance was pushed out to 80 feet that spread got far larger than I'd expect out of any decently tuned spring power blaster. I even added a scar barrel and was unable to get groupings that I was happy with. I don't know if the reciprocating barrel is contributing to this or not, but it makes me question the decision to utilize it in the design. I will say though that there were some noticeable improvement in groupings for me going from the low power to higher powered spring. Unfortunately, the problems only start there. The number of jams and cycling issues I encountered was unlike any other blaster I've used. Obviously, that's not what you want in a tournament blaster. On top of that, when it does jam or fail to fully cycle, you have to manually push the breech back into place before shooting again, or you'll more than likely just jam repeatedly, adding another step to complete before getting back up and running in game. With that idea of being slowed down in mind, because this is an open bolt system, there's a delay between when you pull the trigger and when the dart is fired. While it is minimal and some people don't mind it, it is noticeable. Some more things that may be varying degrees of personal preference but are worth keeping in mind here would be that this blaster is awkward to hold in use. There's not really a great place for your supporting hand to hold that just feels natural, and the mag release is just a little smaller than I'd like. Also the mag release spring is exposed, meaning there's potential to get something stuck inside preventing it from working, which would be a huge problem. As I mentioned in the beginning, I had to use an airsoft battery for this blaster, partially to fit in the buffer tube and partially because it comes wired for Mini Tamiya, which is just unfortunate. So is there anything good about this blaster? Well, when it's functioning properly, it's fun to use in non-competitive games, and I'm sure with some tweaking and tuning, this blaster can probably perform decently as I've seen it used by multiple people in competitive settings. That said, the Colonel Wasp 76 just isn't tournament ready out of the box, but it does give me hope for future AEB designs.